Hey guys, welcome to our first ever castle. Let's build. So guys, uh, yeah, I started off with this uh, this frame of stone brick, which consisted of a four block high wall, which I'm now building up, and uh, two small turrets and an archway. Now this is a great functional way to uh, bring a front to your castle because it allows your uh, your defenders to well defend really. So it's really good, really functional, and the dimensions you have to use odd number of bricks uh, because otherwise your it's just not going to work. So what I did was I grabbed some oak uh, to put down on the floor, uh, and this texture pack does it really nicely. Um, I don't know, Sfax maybe, but this one I can put on normal when distance and it isn't so buggy. So that's kind of why I did it. Now, please bear in mind guys, because I'm not the best at placing blocks. I'm okay, uh, like I do it well, but I, sometimes I'm just a bit of a noob when I'm placing them. Uh, so yeah, again on the other side, <coughs> sorry guys, uh, just sticking these down uh, to four high. Whoops. Um, yeah, just slapping these stone bricks down, and um, yeah, so these will be four high, so that's put a few ladders up, oh, slash weather clear, always a good command there. Um, now, you'll notice in this video, while I'm talking about commands, um, that the sun has its cycle going. So if you don't want that, and you want it to just stay in a nice moon sun, you can just uh, put down slash uh, game rule space do capital daylight uh, capital uh, cycle uh, false, and then that will um, that will mean that uh, it doesn't go through daylight cycles. So you'll just stay on that one particular hour. So then I went around. Um, I plumbed in some. Uh, oak, oak planks flooring, and uh, stuck in some crenellations for our arches to crouch behind. Uh, so you know, otherwise they're just going to get sniped and shot. Uh, and you know, like on Skyrim, uh, they'll have to retire. You know, they got an arrow in their knee. So then I just uh, switched it down, I think, to a short render distance because. I was on the terrain, and on super flat it's fine, but on the terrain it's a bit, it's a little bit more buggy, uh, which is a shame because when you have it like that, uh, it bugs up the grass a lot. So you can see that the grass now shows up because it's kind of when you go on short or less, short or tiny, um, then it does the color of the sky, which would just be white. Um, so. Yeah, so the grass bugs out, some of the flowers uh, bug out and the vines bug out. Then I came around to this turret and I started building uh, what would be a raise to the walkway. So rather than continuing our walkway on this side at the same height, we're going to have to stop, we're going to have to go downstairs. Uh, we may put another bit into it. Uh, to allow you to get in there, uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about next episode, guys. Uh, so yeah, we might add in another bit of a walkway so we can get there, but at the moment it's just only accessed through the ground. So uh, guys, then I went and started doing some crenellations to try and get this arch nice and have like, make it look kind of cool. Just fiddling around with them. Uh, as a chicken there, as I'm sure you guys can see. So I took his egg and I owned him with it. So, and then I just carried on just plumbing in these stairs, upside down stairs, right way upstairs, until I got to a nice height for our next building. Then I went and checked my dimensions. I then went and checked my direction, my dimensions, sorry. Got them right, and just plumbed in some torches. After that, I extended the wall uh, and started uh, putting in some buttresses uh, to help get, like, if this was kind of physics, more physics-based, 
um, then otherwise the wall would just fall down. So I needed to plant some buttresses to strengthen the wall, and also it adds for nice crenellations. Just putting in some, uh, just like putting in some dragon stairs and a window. Put some stairs in there just to add some depth to the build. And on the bottom, uh, then I grabbed some glass panes and just stuck them in that window. Then I just put down some stone brick and blocked it all up. Next up, I went around to the other turret and extended that wall a bit uh, so that it would reach out to a, bil a building that we're going to build next episode which is going to be a chapel uh, so we're going to have a church so we're going to have a cathedral in our city slash by the clear there uh, we're going to have the cathedral in our city but we still want a chapel in the castle sped up footage. So yeah, let's just talk about what we want from this build. We want it to be nice. Uh, we want, yeah, that's basically all I can think of. Uh, we want it to be nice builds, uh, it kind of yeah, really historic looking, like, so it kind of fits the mood of a historic yet fantasy uh, kind of kingdom. <coughs> Sorry guys. <coughs> Uh, what's up? A uh, sneezing fit there. Um, so yeah. Uh, sped up footage there. Just grab some TNT, hell yeah. Um, and then just plonk that down. Get away! And I really want to kind of blow up this chicken. I have no idea how he survived that blast. Uh, but oh well. So then I just uh, stuck in some grass blocks, owned the chicken, and yeah, just tidied this up so it's none of the stones showing. There you go, set time, time set zero to set, uh, set it to morning, the dawn. Uh, but in future, I'll be using slash game rule, do daylight set, uh, cycle false. And there's capitals on the daylight, uh, on the D for daylight, and the C for a cycle. So yeah, that's the front of the gate at the moment. And that's done. So yeah, I'll just, like, stick down here. Pressed F8 there by accident. That kind of surprises it all out. And then, uh, ooh. <laughs> Sorry, verbal, verbal. So yeah, back back to normal now. Um, uh, I bow to you guys. This torch, and I'll be careful not to scold you. Bye. So yeah, bye, bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye. So yeah, um, if you enjoyed, then comment. Uh, what you liked about it, rate it. So hopefully a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Bye guys! Bye!